welcome to class. A chakra balancing class, particularly focused on our Agnya chakra, which is the third eye between the eyebrows. Insight, awareness, inner wisdom. Let's wake that up. So we'll begin in recline position and anything that I suggest today, if you find something more comfortable, you can take that whatever position calls to you at that moment. It's all about listening into the body and the wisdom of the mind, the wisdom of that inner mind. So let that flow. But we'll take a recline position first. Take the feet to the bottom of the mat, spread the toes along the way so you get that lovely footprint. Press those feet into the mat just to feel that support beneath you. And then take the hands behind you and ease your spine down to the mat. Just snaking yourself down. Take your hands to the back of the skull along the way and just ease the skull down so that it's aligned with the bottom of the spine, the sacrum. And we have the feet hip width apart for the moment. Just noticing as we settle into this shape, noticing the alignment of the spine. That riverbed, when we're in this horizontal position, it's, it's acting as a riverbed in that uh, it's that horizontal slant, right? So we've got that flow of energy through our spine, through our nervous system, but in a completely different direction. So let's just get used to that feeling. Inhale and exhale. And then slowly straighten out your leg. So right leg and then left leg. And make sure those back of the heels are on the mat. Find that position. And we're gonna come into the breath here. So we're gonna light up the spine with our breath. Just noticing we have energy centers along the spine that influence and inspire the body. So inhale to inspire them. Imagine that cascade going down the spine of inhale. You can keep your feet active for the moment in our uh, kind of stand lying down to dasana. Inhale and exhale. As you exhale, feel that flow up the spine from the tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head. So we light up that entire column. And then just settle in with your next exhale, feel the shoulders dropping towards the earth. So you fold open a bit more, maybe brighten up that heart space towards the sky, feel the arch of your lower back on the mat, the sacrum, another anchor. And before we get back into our breath, we'll just take those feet active, right? Let's take that recline to dasana mountain pose. So imagine standing on a surface with the feet and the toes are pointing towards the ceiling. And now you're gonna pump your feet. So pump the feet gently. So you just feel a gentle rocking of the entire column of the body along with the feet. So we're feeling here as we pump and breathe normally. We're just pumping and noticing that connection all the way from the toes, all the way up the legs, past the pelvis, along the spine past the shoulders and all the organs and then the neck and into the head and through the crown of the head. And then you can slow the, that action down and just allow the feet to flop out to the side. Now begin to close the eyes, cutting out visual distractions. We're such visual creatures. So we're taking in so much information through our eyes. Let's give them a moment to rest and to take that vision into the third eye in between the eyebrows. Let's rub the palms together above the body, creating that warmth and spark there of energy into your palms. Feel that going down the arms even just warming things up. Take the hands to the forehead, take the palms to the forehead, allow the fingers to rest on the crown. And come into the breath. Cradle, if you will, your skull in your hands. Just sending positive energy into your very active brain. And allow that calm to communicate all the way through the nervous system. 
just as a, as a sensational reminder, we'll take our fingers, middle fingers to the third eye. And we'll do this more later, but just feel that connection there. A nice dark indigo color lighting up our inner awareness. That indigo is representational of a night. So it's a little more of a dark, beautiful light that is that night light, if you will, to celebrate that energy within that can be ignored in our flurry of taking in information through our eyes and ears. Tap into a different sense here. Let's allow the hands to reach towards the floor, drape the hand, arms next to you, and feel those shoulders roll away from the middle line. Inhale, exhale. So for our conscious breath, we'll take that inhale, imagining a brighter, a bright, bright light emanating from our third eye in that blue color, inviting in with our inhale, positive thoughts, positive energy in through that third eye, send the energy down the spine and then exhale it out, allow it to travel up the spine, almost feel it just massaging those intricacies of your spine and then out of the third eye, radiate outward. Again, join me in that visualization as you inhale and exhale. See if you can lengthen out the exhale as you radiate that energy out of the third eye. If your thoughts are in the way, allow them to flow with the breath as if you're sending them down the river or floating them along, coexisting with the flow of the breath. Feel that connection as that mind connects through our column of the neck to the body and notice the nervous system responding here to our gentle breath. And on your next exhale, you can bend the knees, bring the feet shoulder, uh, sorry, hip width apart, and then take your hands and see if you can find the back of your heels with your fingertips so that your arms are draped along the body and we feel that connection of the fingers to the feet. And then find your sacrum and space on the mat and align that with the back of the skull here. And we're gonna curl up. So the third eye is also activated through bridge pose. So if you could imagine a light shining inward towards your third eye, right? A nice soft light from above. And then imagine that light just going through the middle of the head and then out into the mat. So it's, it's like going just straight down. So you feel almost the back of your third eye on the mat. So that's what we're kind of activating that whole full spectrum with, with bridge pose as we keep our gaze upward and we curl the tail up towards the sky, lift the hips up into a bridge and just press the arms into the mat to feel that support beneath you, bringing your sternum towards the chin and then lift the arms up in a hug style towards the sky and then next to the ears. So we're a long wave here. And then exhale, use that exhale to reach up and drape the spine down. So now we're waking up again, that beautiful light of our spine all the colors of our chakra rainbow, each energy center along the spine having its color coordinated rainbow. And down another few rounds of this snaking action up and down and bridge, noticing your feet along the way. And also bringing that all the way up the crown of the head to notice all of that energy along the way. And then settle in with the spine, feel that grounding action of the feet. 
The next exhale sends again those shoulders melting towards the earth. And we're gonna press the arms into the mat, lift the heart up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then settle back down. And notice you have created an unrounding of your back. So that lifting of the heart and the non-hunching of the back. Let's celebrate that. So this is lying down an optimum posture for us while we're sitting up. It's not always easy to achieve, so we have to activate our core. If you can bring your mind's eye, that third eye awareness to the base of your rib cage and just press the back of the ribs into the mat and notice that as you press the back of the ribs and the lower ribs, you're gonna get that nice core action, which is holding that torso nice and steady. And there's still a slight arch in the lower back. So this is the alignment we want to try to achieve as we transition to our seated sequence. So let's inhale. Celebratory inhale. Feel the spine already more awake than before. And we'll roll over onto one side. Use the hands to help you up slowly. Feel that brain energy lift up as you lift the head up slowly. And then take a blanket and we'll take a seated position. Take the sits bones to the edge of the blanket. And then you can sit and cross-legged or you can kneel. That's your choice. Whatever's more comfortable. Some people have real knee issues with cross-legged. I totally get it. If you also wanna try it, you can put blocks underneath your knees as well. So let's take ourselves to the edge of that blanket. Spill the pelvis forward, just gently so that we have the curve in the low back. And already since we've lit up the spine with our other practice on the floor, we feel a little bit taller already than when we started, I hope. Take the fingertips beside you and just feel those prongs of your fingers reaching into the earth, reaching into a root system, like a tree, we'll visit a tree later. Inhale, through crown of the head, exhale, allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears and see if you can line up those shoulders with the ears. And remember that posture we had lying down. Let's see if you can try to echo that here in our vertical position. So now our spine is a cascade, like a waterfall. So let's inhale in through the nose and the third eye and feel that energy traveling down the spine like a cascade of water and then exhale out feel that lift as you press those abdominals in to expel what out what you don't need and this includes matching your breath with your mind energy calming everything down illuminating enlightening just feeling lifted feeling freer. On your next inhale, take the palms towards the sky, feel that opening across the collarbones and reach up to the sky and reach up with the muscles on the side body more than just the arms, the whole system lifting you up as if someone were above you just saying, lifting you up under the arms, ah, oh, feels great. And then press the palms together in prayer position above the head. So pressing the palms together, you'll feel that enlivening energy along our arms and down to the shoulders. Drop the shoulders away from the ears here. And we'll take a gentle twist side to side, looking over gently to the right and to the left, making sure that our chin and sternum try to match each other in a light, nice long line towards that third eye. Exhale, come back to center. And now we'll sway side to side over to the right. And then the left, keeping those palms together to keep it active. Feeling above us with the prayer position above the head, the line above, the energy line above the crown of the head, let's continue the swaying. The line of energy above the head doesn't stop at the crown of the head. It continues out of the crown of the head towards that prayer position above you towards the sky. Come back up to vertical and just feel that vertical energy out of the crown of the head 
you are beyond yourself into a realm that's wider than our physical self, right? And then bring that prayer position down half inch above the crown of the head, elbows out to the side, and just try to grow a little bit that half inch taller towards your hands. Inhale, exhale, beautiful. Allow the thumbs in that prayer position to come in front of the third eye in between the eyebrows. And just press, allow the thumbs to rest there. Inhale and exhale, close the eyes if you wish, just to feel our activation of that center a little more, inhale. Exhale, nice and tall posture. Bring the prayer position down the center so we're drawing that line with our thumbs towards the throat, the throat chakra, also an important voice, expressive expression center, and then down to our hearts, that life source. Inhale, exhale, we'll take a gentle twist here from the heart so we're tracing that line from the sternum over to the right and over to the left. And then back again, bring that prayer position back up to the third eye, draw the line back up, thumbs at the third eye, and then allow the thumbs to travel to the occipital ridge behind the skull at the base of the skull. Let's take gentle circles outward to massage those energy points and that pressure points at the base of the skull. And change circles, change direction of the circles, I mean. Great, and then slide those thumbs towards the ears, pinch the edges of the ears. Pull the ears away from the skull so we loosen the jaw. And then the middle fingers come to that third eye and just trace the line along the eyebrows to the temples. Massage backward and forward. Find that beautiful lighting up the spine breath again. The full activity, those, those neurons always working. Let's just bring physical energy into that brain and physical calming. Beautiful. And then we'll allow the hands to come out to our T position. Wingspan arms. Inhale, the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, the shoulders away from the ears. Keep them there as you reach outward. And then we'll take the hands in a cactus. So palms forward, elbows at shoulder height. Hold this here. If you need to change the cross of your legs, you can do that. Feel the head cr crown of the head reaching up. And then let's take that same, keep that same steadiness through the spine as you take the uh, sorry, the thumbs behind you, and we'll take the pinkies up. Oh, and then come back up, palms forward, and hang the forearms down like laundry on the line. And then back up again, elbows, sorry, not elbows, thumbs back, pinkies up. As you do the pinkies up, feel free to lift up with the heart, that's okay too. And then come forward, drop the hands. Reverse it again, thumbs back, pinkies up. Just activating our spine, hang the arms down. Come back up to cactus. Allow the hands to rest again at the base of the spine. Open elbows. What we're gonna do here is support the base of the skull. I didn't, did I say spine? I meant skull. Looking for words today. So cup the bottom of your skull with that uh, point between the thumb and the index finger. It has a fancy name. Someone in this room probably knows the fancy name between the index finger and the thumb. But just cup that area and see if you can just give a tiny bit of traction, and I mean tiny, towards the sky. Just subtly noticing that support lifting the spine up and let's turn over keeping that support of your hands turn your gaze over to the right so we're 
exercising that neck flexibility and over to the left. Keeping that gentle press of your skull into the hands so you stay aligned along the way. And then come back to the middle, look up, inhale. Exhale, just keep those hands of support as you tuck the chin in towards the heart. Now here you want the heart to stay tall. You don't wanna hunch forward. And then guide yourself back up and open the elbows, look up at the sky. This time do arch that mid spine a bit and then close the elbows together. And then open up butterfly style. And as you bring the elbows together, you'll feel a natural curling of the spine and that's fine. One more time, open up. Invite that breath in, exhale, close together. And then release the hands. Take that to prayer position in front of the heart. Part of the sign for the third eye for the symbol in, involves petals of the lotus. So let's also exercise our wrists here, but come into beautiful lotus mudra. So we're gonna dip those fingertips towards the floor in prayer position. And then we're gonna bring the back of the hands together. And then we're going to open up and curl outward into a lotus hands as if you're cupping water in front of you. Inhale, invite in whatever concepts, whatever beautiful things and positive energy you wanna to bring towards the body. Imagine it cascading down the spine, press the back of the hands together, curl it back up to prayer. In this meditative mudra, take a few more rotations here along with your breath. Enjoying a bit of silence of your breath and meditation. Meet back in prayer position. Feel that stillness. Part of our third eye awareness is that stillness, knowing that we have that inner wisdom at any point. Our eyes take in what they take in. And at the same time, that inner wisdom is operating without the eyes necessary. Drop the hands and we'll transition to all fours. Take the blanket to about three quarters of the way down your mat. Make sure it's evenly folded. Take the shins to the blanket and allow the kneecaps to cascade over the blanket, the edge of the blanket. So we're not putting any pressure on the kneecaps in the sequence. Take your forearms to the mat, elbows beneath the shoulders. And we're coming into a forearm tabletop. So the spine is going to be in a, in a nice diagonal here from that tailbone down the spine to the crown of the head. See if you can feel that shape of the diagonal in your mind's eye and then roll the shoulders away from the ears and you'll feel the shoulder muscles activate. And then you're going to separate your shoulder blades. Let's visit those shoulder blades, glide them away from each other. And as you do that, the heart space is going to lift towards the sky, the back of the heart. And exhale, let's drop that heart to the floor, melting. So we squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then again, lifting up. And down. See if you can find some freeing up action there. Some action, sorry, part of this action, freeing up some stuck points maybe in that mid back. Beautiful. Come back to our neutral position and we'll take a cat cow here. So we're gonna take a cat, curl the tailbone under and just lift the back of the spine up towards the sky. And if your head can drop in between those, four, those upper arms, your gaze comes in between the knees, curling in and then exhale, lift the tailbone. 
So we're going to stay in that diagonal a little more. So you're gazing up at the, the last part should just come to the top of the mat to protect the spine. Again, curl in. Enjoy the breath. Nice. Beautiful. And now we'll take our neutral spine again. Let's bring the, the hands together in prayer position. So if you're ready, we're gonna take a bit of core work here. So this will involve your feet going to the bottom of the mat. You may need to adjust that blanket uh, behind you. I mean, underneath you. Take those uh, prayer position nice and strong with your hands and your third eye connects to those thumbs, right? So we're or to the hands. So let's keep that channel of light and energy going. We're gonna keep the elbows beneath the shoulders and we're gonna roll those shoulders away from the ears. So we activate our strong um, shoulder muscles. Take the right leg back long and we're gonna take the right leg long with the curled toes under. And then we're going to lengthen out the left leg, curl the toes under into our forearm plank. Now you want to press the hands together in prayer and press those forearms gently into the mat, rolling shoulders away from the ears, tailbone pointing towards the heels. And you want to navel to tone towards the spine. Let's come down to the knees just gently and just give yourself a little rest there. You can lean back as well, inhaling back into a more puppy position. So you stretch the arms out in between and then come back, prepping for another plank, pressing the forearms to get onto the floor and pressing the hands together. Left leg back long, curl the toes and right leg back. You can do this, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Again, if this is feeling pinchy or anything, don't do it at all. Just come down with a face down and lengthen on the mat. Take it easy. Inhale, exhale, bring the heels, sorry, the knees down. Take a moment here. We're gonna go into dolphin pose from here. So dolphin is a downward dog from the forearms. And I want you to be really careful to keep those elbows underneath the shoulders as we do this. This is another third eye activation pose. The third eye is just gonna drop towards the, the elbows as we come up. So we're gonna take the right leg back. Again, if this you wanna take a plank, that's fine. If you just want to come face down to a lovely resting pose on the mat, you can do that too, or child's pose. Let's curl the right toes under and the left toes under. And then gently walk the feet, keeping the knees bent just a little bit towards the hands and the head rests in between those forearms. Check the alignment of your elbows and your shoulders, please. Press the hands together and just keep the knees bent. It's fine if you're still in dolphin. And if you wanna straighten out the legs, that's okay too. But rest the mind, please. Or notice the resistance that you're facing here. And then bring the gaze down to the hands again, knees down, stretch back into a child's or just roll over onto your back and hug the knees. Reach the arms long, take the third eye to the mat, the forehead, and just roll it side to side. Inhale. Exhale. Curl up and all fours. Now we're going to travel towards uh, standing as well. You can take that base again with your shins safely for the knees. And from here, find your tabletop. And we're going to take the right foot forward and we're going to take it on the inside of the right hand. So inhale that knee forward. See if you can help that right foot down next to the right hand. So here, find the beautiful shape of your hips square in space, the sacrum nice and steady, balancing. Take the fingertips to the mat, pull that energy from the fingertips back towards the mat. Inhale, exhale. First, find that right hip with that mind's eye and just drop into that hip. And now travel with the right hand onto the inside of the right foot. 
So we're stretching out that hip a little more, maybe inch that right foot over to the right a little more. Dropping into our hips here. Feel the connection here between your right foot and your back shin and magnetize them together. And do you notice how everything squares off? It's pretty cool. Inhale, exhale, drop into the right hip. And we're gonna come up from here. So this is a nice deep hip stretch, hip opener. And we're gonna keep our right knee behind those toes as we take the right hand to the right thigh and lift up into a higher lunge. Keep that back shin nice and anchored, not the back knee, the back shin. Find the hands to the hips and see if you can square off those hips, dropping into that right hip again. Take the hands to the back of the lower back, the sacrum, <laughs> elbows behind you, inhale, exhale, look up at the sky, taking a gentle back bend here, kind of an alternate camel pose here. Look up and then come forward, arms reach above the head. So next to the ears, strong line here, especially on that left side, press into that back, Foot, so the left foot, the top of the left foot. It's kind of amazing when you press into that left foot, you're gonna feel that energy up the thigh on the left side. Nice stretch there, drop the right hand towards the right hip and lean over to your right side. Again, continuing that energy in the left foot, leaning over and bringing it back up. Swan dive your arms around that front foot. And if you can tiptoe around or over your blanket, come to a forward bend at the top of the mat with your knees bent, please. Ribs and thighs together, drop the head and keep the hands on the mat. So the hands definitely wanna find the mat. We've got nice anchors here of our feet and our hands and drop the head and just feel that energy of the blood oxygenating the brain here. As we celebrate our inner mind, our subconscious, the wise parts of the brain, just allow the head to hang. If this is uncomfortable for you at all, of course, you can always come up. Take the fingertips to the mat, keep those ribs glued to the thighs and inhale into a flat back. So we're gonna take that horizontal and then take the hands to the hips, keeping the knees bent. We're just gonna hinge up to a standing position. Good, great. So from here, we're gonna come back to that action on the other side with the lunge, but we're gonna walk around a tree first. So that just means we're gonna go into tree pose. <laughs> so here, you can stay at the top of your mat. I'm gonna face you so that we can get into our tree. We're gonna take a tree on the right side. So the tree begins in mountain. All of our lovely nature points connecting. So let's take the feet, full footprint, and we really want to feel the anchor of our left foot in this pose. Inhale, spine long, exhale, drop shoulders away from the ears. Imagine that we're doing the Tadasana reclining. So you feel the support of that surface behind you and see if you can activate those nice steadying points we talked about, the lower ribs, rolling shoulders, shoulder blades come closer together. And we feel that connection but the, between the back of the skull and the sacrum. Okay, you're nice and strong now. Inhale, take the weight onto the left, lift the right knee up into a right angle in front of you, and then open up the knee to the side. The right foot finds the side of the left, inner left leg somewhere along the way, anywhere along the way. Energize them together like magnets, beautiful. Bring your hands in prayer position in front of the heart. Let's bring that prayer position up past our third eye. See if that throws off the balance. If you interfere with the visual gaze, tap into your inner vision, 
and then rise up above the head. Balance, so beautiful. Woohoo! If you wobble, that's great. And then bring that preposition above the crown of the head. Feel that energy above you. You're radiating. Great. And then come past third eye, back to the heart. Your next exhale, drop the right foot. Top of mat, inhale, reach the arms up and come in prayer position past our line of the spine, all back, back, sorry, back down to the heart, fold at the hips, come forward. If you wanna keep the knees bent, that's fine or straight, hang the head down. And now we're going to do that in reverse of what we did with the other uh, lunge. So we're going to bring the right foot back into our lunge, but we're going to take the right knee back down. If you need to cushion this, that's fine. You can find your, take a moment to find your blanket cushion. Left foot now is in front and we've got the hands around that front foot. And our back shin, the right shin, is our anchor. Here we are in our hip opener. So let's take the fingertips to the mat and reach the spine long towards the top of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, drop into the left hip. Feel that energy of your shin and front foot squaring your hips off. Just naturally, they come a little more in balance. And then take the left hand onto the inside of the left foot, keeping those palms steady. Maybe inch that left foot over a little bit, aligning the knee behind the middle two toes. Dropping into this hip. Notice the sensation. So as we explore that inner world of our mind, notice if there's some kind of communication there, maybe resistance, uh, oh, urging to get out of this kind of discomfort. Again, any pinching, don't do it or explore a little bit of discomfort there. And then take the left hand to the left hip, really anchor into your back shin as you come up to vertical. So we're gonna do that lovely stretch on this side taking the hands to the sacrum, feeling that nice support of your low back as you lift the heart up towards the sky, elbows back, gaze comes up, inhale, exhale, back to our neutral spine, arms reach up above us. Feeling that length, squaring off the hips again, and then drop the left arm next to left hip, and pressing through our back foot, the top of the back foot, let's lean over to the left. Soften. And then reach up again. Up towards the sky, exhaling swan down. Dive around the front foot. Whew, beautiful. Curl that back toe under and tiptoe forward into our forward bend. This time, maybe straighten the legs out a little bit more. And just hang the head again. Let's get some core work on our way up. Let's sit back in an imaginary chair with those sits bones bending the knees ribs towards the thighs. Hold steady here as if you were holding a block in between your thighs. Sweep the arms behind you upward. Again, squeeze a block in between the hands behind you, activating everything there. Squeezing imaginary block. And then sweep the fingertips towards the floor and then next to the ears, and then peel the ribs off of the thighs. Hold two breaths here in chair. Back of skull, sacrum, line them up and then come on up, stand up tall. Let's find that tree again. This time, 
Weight into the right foot, nice and strong. Lift the left leg, bent 90 degrees. Then turn the knee out to the side and the hip. Left foot meets side of right leg. Balance. Great. Hands come into prayer in front of the heart. Find all those lovely stabilization points along the torso. Point the tailbone towards that heel. And then we'll take that prayer position up to the third eye and up above, noticing any unsteadiness along the way, no judgment. Don't allow that flurry of the mind to judge. Coming back down to heart, taking a few breaths of balance here. Beautiful, and let it go. Come back to mountain. So since we've covered our, our um, steps to get to tree, let's do a tree flow. This is wonderful because it can trace that line and you really feel the base of the, the, the balance in the foot as well as all the way up to the, beyond the crown of the head as a tree just reaches out and radiates. So let's inhale the arms above the head. And as we inhale the arms, we're gonna lift the knee up and, and the legs to match. So inhale the arms, lift the right knee up, trace it out to the side, prayer position. And as you bring the prayer position down in front of the face and down to the heart, drop the leg down, follow your breath, inhale, reach the arms up, lift the left leg up, and then out to the side, prayer position down, and then just slide the foot down, other side. So I'm gonna be silent now, meditate on nature, on a tree that's your favorite kind, and repeat as fluidly as you can into tree. We'll meet in mountain pose. Beautiful. Come to the top of the mat. Actually, let's face the long side of the mat on our way down. So we're at the bottom of the mat, actually. <laughs> Inhale the arms up above the head. Let's take prayer position past our center just for celebrating that with our exhale. Inhale through the third eye as we were doing lying down. Send that wisdom down into the body. Explore sensations in the body. One more time, inhale, trace it down. As you trace your prayer position, this time hinge at the hips. Come down towards the mat into a forward bend briefly. You can bend the knees because we're gonna have the hands find the mat and then just walk out towards the top of the mat into a down dog. Here, reach into our down dog. First, come into tiptoes evenly, bringing the ribs towards the thighs and then bringing the heels towards the mat. Find your expression of this pose with the fingertips pointing index fingers towards the top of the mat. Really lifting that energy upward through the hips as if someone were lifting you up into those hips to lengthen the spine and back into the hamstrings and then come forward into a plank, rolling the shoulders away from the ears, celebrating your strength here and then rolling back into down dog. 
So all the while, see how steady you can keep the torso, how steady you can keep your mind. And another rotation here, inhale forward. Exhale back. Hold down dog for another rotation of breath. And then allow the knees to come down to the mat. We're gonna transition here to our boat, baby boat. Again, more lovely core work. Take the feet to the base of the mat. Spread the toes, really feeling that press of your feet into the mat, hip width apart. We'll keep that whole strength going up the legs and then take the hands to the back of the thighs. Open out the elbows to the side as you roll the shoulders away from the ears. See if you can find your back of skull sacrum connection here. As you do that, you'll notice we get our core work already right in the solar plexus area at the base of our ribs, steadying our torso just by leaning back. Travel with your breath here up and down the spine. Steady your gaze and practice this pose with that inner awareness, that third eye awareness of your body and what it needs. So if you experience the wrong kind of discomfort of pinching or just too much, listen to the body. You can see about testing our limits here by holding out the arms, releasing them off the thighs taking the palms towards the sky, broadening the collarbones, inhale, receiving beautiful, positive, whatever from the universe. And then bringing the hands back to the thighs, supporting that lift of the spine, lighting it up, and then lift your right foot off the mat and then left, just noticing the effect that has on the core and see if you can lift that shin on the right side up to parallel with the mat and maybe the left side and bring it down. Can you bring both feet off the mat? Now, as you do that, use that leverage of your hands on the thighs to keep a steady torso. And just feel that energy of the thighs together as if you're squeezing that block an imaginary block. So feel that steadiness that happens when you pull that energy together. Shoulders away from the ears and feet down. Let's sit up again. As you sit towards the knees, bring the arms, cross them in, on top of the knees and just dip the head down, curl the spine. So this is an inward gazing pose. Inhale. And exhale, drop out any clutter that's been occupying your mind that you don't need. Any tension in the body that's been occupying you that you might no longer need, exhale it out. Let's come back up to vertical and try that again. Take the hands to the back of the thighs. Find that alignment and reach the arms out. Then hands to thighs. Lift those shins up. As you find inner mm, resistance, try to steady the mind and the breath and the body. Letting go of hands and legs, perhaps. If you roll out, that's okay. Bring the feet down, hands back to the thighs. And we can roll ourselves inch by inch, bone by bone, down to the mat. Just keep the steady strength curling into your abdominals as you come down. Release the hands. Take a slow path down to the mat. 
Oh, and then release hands behind the skull. Ease yourself down. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Take your um, self into our reclined Tadasana again. Pump the feet. Just feeling the difference here. Ah, so great. Awesome. Um, now, once more before we, if you can grab a block. Actually, I think we are not going to use the strap today. Sorry about that. <clears throat> take the block, take the, sorry, take the hip, arms along the legs, along the body, feel the back of the heels, and then lift the hips up and take that block if you have one underneath the sacrum. If you don't have a block, that's okay too. But if you have a book or a block, lift the hips up. We'll just do a brief supported shoulder stand. Really roll the shoulders away from the sternum. Feel the length of the arms on the mat. Press that full arm strength into the mat and lift the knees up. So they're going to be candlestick legs. Lift straight legs up to the sky. And we're going to flex the feet. Good job. So we're in our supported shoulder stand, which also third eye activator, oxygenator for our brains, the heart more easily pumping energy into that brain from this pose. Point the toes and flex the toes alternating. Mm -hmm. And then bring them together with our candlesticks flexed feet and then open out into the V, our synchronized swimming, back together again, keeping that lower abdominals involved, as well as our adductors on the thighs. Open and close, bring the soles of the feet together and the knees out to the side. So we're in butterfly and then back up to candlesticks. Just playing around with the shape we can make with those legs. And then reaching up to candlesticks, feeling that press of the arms, the lift up, and then bend the knees towards the chest. One foot down and then the other. Lifting the hips up off of the block. We're gonna do a rainbow trace here. So let's come over onto our right side. Bring the palms together, knees stay together. And you really wanna to try to keep those leg knees together during our whole twist. And the sacrum is per perpendicular to our mat. Keep that steadiness there as you take an imaginary piece of chalk, whatever color you'd like, those nice giant ones in different colors. And we're gonna take it with the left fingertips and draw a rainbow above our head on the surface of the floor. And your gaze is coming with this, this arc. So the gaze is coming along. You're watching the fingertips and watching them go above the head. Now, if you get above the head and your shoulder is saying, I don't like this feeling, you can bring, you can bend the elbow and just bring that closer in. Or you can just take a closure of this arc and bring it back towards the right hand. So you have a few options to customize for your shoulder. If it does travel all the way over, then you can just take that open twist, heart open to the sky and then come back, draw it back and choose another color and draw that arc. So here you'll feel that the sternum is twisting, the ribs are twisting, but back to that steady of the pelvis that stays perpendicular to the mat. <sighs> Bring that rainbow to the to closure here and we'll turn over to the other side on the left side, keeping the knees together along the way. And then we'll grab that chunk with the right hand, 
same thing here. Watch that arc. And most likely your shoulder flexibility is going to be different on one side than the other. So we have that rainbow along the spine of our chakras and we can draw that rainbow here imagine that above us above our head celebrating that bright light that we radiate beyond the boundaries of our physical body i believe that there has been a lot of science about the electromagnetic fields of the heart beyond its physical space that can go six feet across a room, things like that. I did hear a doctor talking about that once. It was pretty cool. So imagine how far your energy can travel, that positive, and imagine how much you can bring back in from others. Let's bring the right hand to meet the left and then roll onto the back. The crown of the head align with those feet at the base of the mat, palms open to the sky, and our arms draped about six to eight inches away from the body. We're going to press into the elbows and lift the sternum towards the sky, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Sigh this out. As you exhale, flop the feet out to the side. And coming back to the breath. Another activation for our Agna Chakra, the third eye in our yoga practice, is to visit nature. Anywhere in nature. We can, on our mats, close our eyes. If we're not in a nature space now, that amazing third eye can bring us to that place. So take your pick of a nature setting that finds you find inspiring. Drop into the body, drop into that presence of nature. First, the visuals, the trees, perhaps, or the sand, or the sky, the clouds, the ocean, whatever you like to envision. This visualization entering your consciousness. Activating other senses, the what are you hearing in your favorite place there? Birds singing or wind in the trees or the ocean or a river babbling brooks. perhaps some other wildlife sounds. The aroma of the place you are in your mind's eye, that smell of the trees or ocean, etc. And the sensations you might feel in that space, the wind on your skin, the sand beneath you, if it's warm, whatever you visualize. Perhaps there's a taste that you associate with these places, whether it's a tasty beverage, fruit off the tree. Synthesize all these senses. Surround yourself.
Notice the effect on the mind and the body. Take this energy with you into your day or evening. Inhale, wiggle the fingers and the toes. Exhale, bend the knees and the elbows. Roll onto your right side, away from your heart. Allow yourself to come up. Head rises last. Reach the arms up above the head in our seated position. Slide those thumbs down past our mind, past the throat to the heart. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. Namaste.